Yeah, let me tell you something, you bigot, you fascist, you criminal. Apples don't fall far from the tree. Your mother was a criminal too for coming over here illegally. You have no respect for our laws. Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I'm contacting the president's office, President Trump. And if he doesn't do something about you and the rest of you fascists, and I'm withdrawing his financial support to him and a number of other things that we're going to do. We're not going to support him in the next election. You, lady, are a criminal. And by the way, how much more do you want to leech off us, the taxpayers? What a legacy your people are leaving, huh? You're all a bunch of leeches. Not all he is, but you're a leech. You know what a leech is? You suck off us. And you're nothing, you're nothing but a provocateur communist, in my opinion. You want to break our laws? Hey, I have to obey the laws. You're a bunch of leeches. You're criminals. You have no respect for our laws. And your mother was the same way. She had no respect. And I have no respect for you or her. You're a disgrace. Let me tell you something, lady. You're pushing for a fight. Because I am proposing sanctuary safe spaces. And this is near and dear to me because for me, I work with a lot of families who are still undocumented. And my mom, as you know, was undocumented at one point. But she's now a super voter, which means you can't mess with her either. So you and the rest of you people. Well, let me just say this to you. You might keep Boston and San Francisco in these cities. But you're not going to get the middle of this country. And if you want to know how we fight, I suggest you look up the films that were filmed on Iwo Jima, or the films of Normandy Beach, or the films of uh, the jungle fight in Vietnam. You'll see how we fight. And you'll see how we love, because we obey the law. We're decent people. We pay our taxes, we go to work. But all you do is antagonize and provoke you're a hater, you're a racist, you're a bigot. So go ahead, keep poking the bear, lady, because eventually the ones in Iwo Jima that fought, the ones on Normandy Beach that fought, the ones that fought in Vietnam, well, guess what? They have sons. Those men have sons. Two Americans that believe in the rule of law. Many, many, many eons ago, I actually became a naturalized citizen and I was naturalized right across the hall in Samuel Hall. You keep poking, lady. You know what you're going to get? The rest of you provocateurs and Marxists and fascists. You're going to get exactly what they got. Second World War. You're going to get defeated. You have nothing but a grandstanding fool. And by the way, I'm calling, like I said, I'm calling the president's office today. He better do something about people like you in Boston or City Council. And if he doesn't, he will get reelected. It's either put up or shut up, Mr. President. And send ICE into Boston and have these people. You should be the first one arrested. You should be put in handcuffs and deported. And guess what? We're American too. And we're not going anywhere. You carny. You don't like it here, go back to where you came from. That's what they told me when I said I didn't like it here. They told me to go back. But you know what? I changed my attitude. I obeyed the laws. I paid my taxes. You're really something. What, 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 a, what, a, what a great way to start, huh? Aiding, aiding and abetting criminals. The very fact that they're illegal is that they're breaking the law. You think they get impeached like they want to do to, 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 to Trump, you, you commies? You're a disgrace. And by the way, you're as dumb as a bag of rocks, too. <laughs> yeah, how do you like those apples? So go ahead, keep pushing the bear. But just remember this. If you ever want to see how, you want to see how we fight, I suggest you look up the DVD, The Battle of Iwo Jima. That's how we fight, baby. And if we're ever pushed again, we'll fight just as hard. If you're pushing and pushing and pushing, you communist, you fascist, you received January 17th at 8. Hi everyone, it's Junior Mejia. 
I know you just watched our video and I know we had a little bit of fun with our video and the little message that we received, but I think it's important for you to understand what it means to me.